Mepolizumab is a fully humanized monoclonal IgG1 kappa anti-IL-5 antibody used in conjunction with other therapies to treat severe asthma, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, and hypereosinophilic syndrome. In this video, let's find found. What is mepolizumab? What class of drug is mepolizumab? What is mepolizumab used to treat? Who cannot use mepolizumab? What are the side effects of taking mepolizumab? How does mepolizumab make you feel? How to use mepolizumab? What is mepolizumab? What class of drug is mepolizumab? Mepolizumab, sold under the brand name Nicola by GlaxoSmithKline, is a humanized monoclonal antibody used for the treatment of severe eosinophilic asthma, eosinophilic granulomatosis, and hypereosinophilic syndrome. It recognizes and blocks interleukin-5, a signaling protein of the immune system. What is mepolizumab used to treat? Mepolizumab is an anti-IL-5 IgG1 kappa monoclonal antibody indicated as an add-on maintenance treatment in patients aged 6 years and older with severe eosinophilic asthma and as a treatment in adult patients for eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis EGP. Mepolizumab is also indicated for the treatment of hypereosinophilic syndrome, HES, in patients age 12 and older in whom eosinophilia is present for at least 6 months without an identifiable non-hematologic secondary cause. Mepolizumab is additionally indicated as an add-on maintenance treatment of chronic rhinositis with nasal polyps, CRSWNP, in patients greater than or equal to 18 years old with inadequate response to nasal corticosteroids. Who cannot use mepolizumab? Mepolizumab should not be used to treat acute bronchospasms or status asthmatics. Finally, hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported in patients. Mepolizumab should be discontinued in patients with suspected or confirmed hypersensitivity. What are the side effects of taking mepolizumab? Common side effects in clinical trials included headache, 19% of patients under mepolizumab treatment versus 18% under placebo, reactions at the site of injection, 8% versus 3%, infections of the urinary tract, 3% versus 2%, and the lower respiratory tract, eczema, and muscle spasms, both 3% versus less than 1%. The most common side effects in people with hypereosinophilic syndrome, HES, include, upper respiratory tract infection and pain in extremities, such as the hands, legs and feet. Pharmacodynamics Mepolizumab is a monoclonal antibody that acts through interleukin-5, IL-5, antagonism to reduce blood eosinophil levels, generally in the range of 60 to 90 percent of baseline depending on dose, which in turn offers therapeutic benefit in the specific conditions for which mepolizumab indicated. Mepolizumab has a relatively long half-life of between 16 and 22 days, which allows for long-lasting therapeutic benefit and a four-week dosing schedule. Despite a good demonstrated safety profile, mepolizumab use does act to depress part of the immune system and may be associated with increased infants, such as with herpes zoster virus. Pre-existing helminth infections should be treated before starting mepolizumab therapy. Inhaled and oral corticosteroids should not be discontinued after starting mepolizumab, but may be tapered as appropriate. How does mepolizumab work? Typically, eosinophils arise from both CD34+, and dual CD34+, IL-5 receptor positive, IL-5R+, progenitor cells, which is in part mediated by the cytokines IL-5, IL-3, and granulocyte macrophage colony stimulator, GMCSF. Although there exists a population of eosinophils that are insensitive to IL-5 levels, the main population of inflammatory eosinophils proliferates and migrates into the tissue in response to IL-5. Mepolizumab is a fully humanized monoclonal IgG1 kappa body that binds IL-5 with a dissociation constant of 1 o'clock p.m., preventing IL-5 from binding to and subsequently activating IL-5 R plus cells. This reduction lowers circulating blood eosinophil levels and therefore exerts a beneficial effect in eosinophilic disease. The exact mechanistic name mepolizumab action has not been definitively determined. Half-life 
Mepilizumab has a mean terminal half-life of between 16 and 22 days. How to use Mepilizumab? Severe Asthma Indicated for add-on maintenance treatment of severe asthma in patients with an eosinophilic phenotype. 100 mg SCQ4 WK Eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, Churg stress syndrome. Indicated for adults with eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis EGPA. 300 mg SCQ4 WK, i.e., as three separate 100 mg SC injections. Hypereosinophilic syndrome. Indicated for adults with hypereosinophilindrome, HES, for six months, without an identifiable non-hematologic secondary cause. 300 mg SCQ4 WK, i.e., as three separate 100 mg SC injections. Chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps. Indicated for maintenance treatment of chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polys, CRSWNP, in adults with inadequate response to nasal corticosteroids. 100 mg SCQ4 WK. Are there specific concerns about mepilizumab and pregnancy? Use in pregnancy, category B1. The effect of mepilizumab on human pregnancy is unknown. No treatment-related effects on embryo-fetal or postnatal development have been shown in animal studies. That's all the information about mepilizumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.